Hey guys, it's Loyal Des T, and I know I'm looking hella crazy right now, but I just want to come and come on my word and do a two-week review. As I stated, I promised you all that I was going to do a two-week review on this gorgeous unit that I have been rocking on my hair for about two or three weeks now. So the unit I am talking about is the Lace Front <clears throat> Expression um, Reggae Twist Wig that I posted on um, my YouTube channel about two or three weeks ago that I got from my local um, beauty store for about $89. But I also told you that y'all can get it off of um, wigtypes.com. No, I have not ordered it off wigtypes.com yet, but I am going to. But with the wig that I do have, I am going to do a two-week review on it and just show you all, you know, how it's been holding up and stuff like that and how the ends are holding up and do I still love this wig as much as I loved it before. Now, I do not have the wig on my hair right now, so do not judge me. I know I look hella crazy. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't have any makeup on but some lipstick, which I am loving. And I am going to do a um, video about that lipstick. Well, it's actually a lip gloss. But enough about that. I'm going to talk about this wig. So as you know in my previous video that this wig came in this box right here. So yeah, this box right here. And I told y'all to disregard this person on the back because this wig does not look nothing like the wig that I was rocking. So I think they just threw a little homegirl on there and was done with the box. So yeah, that's the box. It just tells you um, what you have on the um, sides. In the bottom it says the reggae twist small in the small kind. And it says um, Autre Lace Front Expression in color one. So that's what it looks like. I hope y'all can see. I'm um, fuming in a different spot trying to get the lighting, but we shall see because I am fuming on my camera instead of my phone. So I am new to this, so we're just going to see and we're just going to rock with it. If it doesn't come out good, I'm just going to make a new video. So if you see this one, I'm doing it on my camera, which is my Samsung smart camera with Wi-Fi, so I'm super excited about it. Alright, so back to this um, gorgeous unit. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is actually what it looks like. I don't know what homegirl was rocking over there. But this is what it actually looks like right here. And you probably can't see it because of the glare on it from the um, the lighting. But I am going to put it in the video like I did the last time. But yeah, this is it. And it just has the care guide on the back. Telling you how to wash it and stuff like that. And I think I am going to wash it because I went to a phone party this week. So uh, yeah, probably should wash it. Um, no telling what's swimming around in it, but it is still clean because I do condition it daily with some leave-in conditioner, water, and a little oil just, you know, to keep it popping, you know. I like my wigs to be popping. We're going to slide that over there, but yeah. So you're probably like, what the hell? This looks nothing like the wig, right? Well, I kind of had this wig up in a high bun because so many people are asking me, can it be worn in a high bun? And yes, it can be worn in a high bun. And look natural so I am super excited about that but while I was wearing in a high bun to make the high bun look cute and you know poofy like I want it to be I braided the hair up to you know twist it around and when I took the hair loose it came out kind of curly twinkly kind of some kind of crazy stuff and I was like oh, oh I'm feeling it so <laughs> I went ahead and braided the whole wig so yeah, this is what it currently looks like. I do not know what it's going to look like when it comes loose all over, but I'm going to do it on camera so you can see and I can see. So yeah, I'm going to just put it on my head. I'm going to take these little things out. I have bobby pins in there holding it down. Throw those over there too. But yeah, this is what the inside looks like. If you did not watch my previous video about it, I'm just going to, you know, hurry up and, you know, recap on it. So this is what the inside looks like. It comes with three combs. A comb on each side, a comb in the middle, which I sometimes use, but it's kind of annoying. But it kind of helps it lay flatter. But anyway, and then it comes with a um, adjustable straps and a comb in the back. So yeah, the cap fits very, very good. Um, I do have a stocking cap on with a dome cap, and that's only because this is uh, big hair friendly, and my head is hella small. I guess I thought it was big, but I guess I was lying. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I'm gonna put this wig on. And I know I probably look crazy because I cannot see myself. So y'all just bear with me. And as you can see, I'm in my kitchen. I know this is hella ghetto, but it's just what it is. Because when that lighting calls, you got to catch it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I don't know how I look right now. 
but I got a feel that it kind of looks janky, but who cares? All right, so I'm just gonna take these braids out. And I don't know, as I stated, if it's gonna be crinkly like I want it to be. But if it don't, you know, we'll just rock it how it is because either way, the wig is gonna be popping because I'm wearing it, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I love this wig. This wig is very, very convenient. I just throw it on my head in the morning and go to class. You know, I'm in college. I don't have time to be doing my hair every day because sometimes I wake up late. And I'm just like, I just don't feel like doing my hair. So I just throw this wig on and keep it moving with my life. All right, so I do still have, see, y'all see that? That's what I want. That is so cute to me. Like, I hope the rest of the hair come out like that. And it's probably not gonna come out as crinkly because I had this in here for like four days straight. And this is just from last night. So if it just get a little crinkle, I'll be good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the ends are still rocking really cute. And they're not like, yeah, these are the, I haven't even seen like real um, twist ends look this good. Like, this is hella good, y'all. Y'all see that? And everybody on campus has this hairstyle, but they don't have the wig one. And I was looking at their ends and I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, okay. But anyway, <laughs> y'all so messy. But anyways, as I was stating, and everybody's, you know, ends was looking all good, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm, I'm gonna just be quiet and I'm gonna leave it alone. <sighs> All right, y'all. So, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share. Y'all love when y'all share my videos, and I love when y'all comment to me and ask me questions because it means that you're concerned and you like the video. So, please continue to ask me questions about any hair that I have tried on or that you want to know about because y'all I love it like I love when it just pops up on my Google like beep because that's what they do on my phone I'm like yes ask me those questions so continue to ask me y'all I love this oh my goodness <sighs> okay I'm gonna get my life together y'all so yeah I am gonna take pictures of it you know on my phone and include it into this video so you can also see how it looks like if I take um you know some pictures outside or so but yeah, this parting is beautiful on this wig. I just do not have a show on right now because I have it in the updo. So yeah, for those who was asking, can you go in the updo? Yes, it can. I just suggest that you um cut the lace like extra small, like this small to it so that you won't see it. And I also put some black nail polish on my lace so it can um match along my hairline because my hair is jet black. And I did not want no tan lace to show. That's not cute at all. But, you know, some people might like that, but um, not me. So, that's what I did to um, match it so good. And it worked. So, it worked for me. So, hopefully, if you do it, it worked for you. Just be careful. Uh, if you want to keep your baby hairs, it's kind of going to get messy. But just be careful with the baby hairs. If not, they're going to get, you know, slopped down with some nail polish. And you can cut them off. So, yeah. I'm coming on. I know, I know, I know. I don't know how this wig look right now. I really don't. Not even gonna lie to y'all. It was just an experiment I wanted to try. So I tried it. And we're gonna see if we succeeded. If not, I'm still gonna rock it how it is. Because I'm different like that. And any kind of different style, I'm gonna rock it. Colored, you know, anything. Like, I'm just crazy. Just to let you know. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't realize I put that many braids in here, y'all. I'm like, what the hell? I'm coming. But anyways, as I was stating, so yeah, this wig was $89 at my local hair store. Um, but it does have the same wig on wigtypes.com, which you know, online when they're a cheaper price, which is like $40, $35 to $40, $45 on wig types, you know when they have you know cheaper prices, they make the wig differently. So I cannot say, oh, it's the same exact wig, but I will say it's in the same exact box, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So if you all um, order from wigtypes.com, please let me know if it's the same exact wig, if it has the same skin top parting and everything else, because I do want to order this wig online for $40, because I'm not paying $90 again for a wig. Um, it would never happen. 
if that was just a one time thing and I felt, you know, lucky that day, so I was going, you know, money, I'm saying, that I didn't have. But, anyways, back to this wig. <laughs> ah, Alright, y'all. So, I don't know what it looks like, but this is the wig right here. So, yeah. And, 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 okay. Anyway, I'm feeling myself. Every time I put this wig on, I be feeling myself, I be thinking I'm looking so cute. But I probably don't look cute at all because, once again, I can't see myself. So, bear with me. But yeah, this is the wig after I have braided it. And I think if I braid it, like, for three days straight, like, do not take the braids loose. That it will be, like, the top is kind of, you know, with this crinkle little look right here. So, I'm just going to show y'all that. But yeah, my ends are gorgeous still. So, that is very good. So, in this two-week review, I will say that this wig still holds up very, very well. For two weeks, um, and once again, I went to a phone party, got my hair soaking wet. So, this is rain proof, soak proof, you know, tornado proof. I don't know what you want to call it, but it can be worn at night, in the rain, in the wet, in the wild, whatever you want to do. It can be worn, so it is proven to be a great wig. Once again, I'm loving the hairline, the parting. I'm just loving everything. I want to show y'all the back. Don't judge me if it has hairs like the uh, the track showing because it's I just took it off the braid, so it's not like styled or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna show y'all. All right, so this is the side. You know, and I know I look fat, but who cares? You know, thick girls on winning. And then this is the back. And this wig is 30 inches, so, and then this is the side again, and this is the front. Alright guys, so thank you for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, because it's free, and I love to see all my subscribers subscribing to me and watching my videos, so bye guys, and thank you for watching, mwah! Hey, hey y'all guys, I'm... Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. I know that my lace was probably showing in the previous clip, but as you all know that I stated previous times, like blue cool times in the video, I did not have a mirror in front of me, so please do not judge me. Um, if you have baby hairs, if you use the baby hairs on this wig, it is possible to um, take away the um, lace. You will not be able to see the lace once you lay those baby hairs down. And I will show you pictures. I will include the pictures in this video of me with my slayed down baby hairs that everyone is going crazy about with this wig. So yeah, as I stated, I put this wig on without me having any mirror in front of me. So I could not see what it looks like. But once I looked in the mirror, after I was done filming, I was like, oops, probably should go tell them so they won't go crazy. Bananas on me. So yeah. Um, as you know that this wig can be worn updo, so I had it in the updo or whatever like that. And no, my lace has not been showing for four days. I just did that once I put it on my head because I have not um, styled my baby hair to conceal my um, lace. So yeah, do not judge me. You know, just go with the flow. I was just putting it on my head to show you what it looked like after I took the braids out. But yeah, so I just wanted to come and tell you guys that don't, you know, go crazy on me. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looked like once I kind of fixed it. I still have not fixed my baby hairs. So calm down, guys. Calm down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Those baby hairs are going to help you. So if you do not want to use the baby hairs that have come on the wig, make sure that you leave a little of your own baby hairs out. Put some Eco Styler Gel on it. Slap it down. Boop, boop. And you're done to go. So, yeah. That's what I want to come and tell y'all. So y'all please do not jump on me. So my, oh girl, you can see your lace. I ain't got time for that. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, I'm telling you. As a friend, put those little baby hairs out. Swoop them down. You're good to go. All right, so bye guys.